Cindy Edwards. And I'm Lindsay McDonald. Thank you so much for joining us today. I have to say that, Cindy, you smell pretty darn good today. I smell? It's, it's fading a little bit. But it thank you very good. much. Thank you very much. Yeah, better than your cheesy normally stuff. Thank you very much. She eats a lot of cheese, so I say cheesy. I don't smell like cheese. Sometimes I'll eat <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, gosh. Um, um, anyways, yes? so are you a big fan, a fan of perfume? I do. Because I've never actually smelled you wear perfume before. A little bit, right? Lovely. There you go. It's yeah. subtle. Well, I used to love to wear perfume, but now it, it actually affects my sinuses. And when I, when I put perfume on, I feel like I can taste it. Have you ever had that sensation? Yes, I don't like that very much. Not good, no. no. So I kind of avoid it. But the good Good news is, I recently met a man who's made it possible for me to wear perfume again. It's all natural and it smells delicious. When you think of perfume, brands like Chanel, Elizabeth Arden, Calvin Klein, and Yves Saint Laurent come to mind. They smell like flowers and exotic spices, but they're all made up of chemicals. Perfume was all natural up until 1921 when Chanel number no. 5 was released, the first successful synthetic perfume. Before that, perfume had always been natural. Diagnosed with MS 12 years ago, 42-year-old Adam Godschalk sometimes has trouble controlling his movements. Ah, it's not bad. But he has no problem using his nose. Here in his spare room, Adam creates his highly touted natural perfumes. This is a perfumer's organ. And you have, it's called that because you have the, ba the bottom three shelves are the base notes. And the middle three are the heart notes, which don't really have a musical analogy. But the top notes are the top notes, just like in music. And just like creating a song, Adam combines different notes from each level to make his perfume. He discovered his passion after reading the books Perfume and Essence of Alchemy. The latter was the catalyst that led to Adam becoming a certified professional perfumer. Anything up here, I can tell what it is without looking at the label. I don't mind this. Not bad at all. That's the best smelling horse barn really? I've ever smelled. Really? Yeah, I think I like the smell wow. of hay. While synthetic perfume can overwhelm, uh, Adam says the opposite absolute. is true with his product. Mushroom absolute. Natural perfume is great because it's totally underwhelming. A tattoo of a Howard Thurman quote on Adam's arm reads, Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and do it. What makes me come alive is this natural perfume. Adam receives his orders for his scents through his website, Lord's Jester, but plans are in the works to be featured in several boutiques. For consumers, going green will cost you some green. To make every one of these essences takes a lot of work, and so the perfume itself has to be more expensive. Right now, Adam has 21 different varieties available online. Of course, you can always have him custom make something just for you, and the possibilities are endless. Makes a lot of sense. Because it's tough to buy a perfume without smelling it first, Adam sells a lot of samples. I'm going to try some of your scents here, and I'm going to determine what I like best. This is the Ophelia, yep. and this is the Solid. Mm, kind of brings back memories of my mom. Yeah. Very nice. And then Heracles, another word for Hercules. Oh, I like that. Demeter Oswalet. Mmm, mmm, I feel like I'm in an exotic land. Really? Mm-hmm. Kronos Edithi. I can't describe this. Ah, <sighs> warm. Gaia EVC. Nymph-like. Yeah. My nose gets a workout, but I've narrowed it down. Which two did you like the most? Heracles, and okay. I can't explain why, and Gaia, because okay. of the nymph quality to it. Since these are your two favorites, I'll give you bottles of each. Wow. Thank you, Adam. So that is wonderful. That's Gaia. Gaia. That's Eau de Cologne. Marvelous. And this is Heracles Eau de Toilette. Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, my husband and my dogs thank you too. I'm going to yes. smell so good tonight. Yes. 
Yes, I am. Really? Isn't I've got my nymph like I, well, It was a nymph like quality. That yes. Is so I felt funny. like a nymph oh. running through the meadow. Well, listen. Do you like that? Not nice. It smells That's absolutely Heracles. delicious. Guess who's interested Spicy. In, in Adam's natural perfumes? Who? Tori Spelling. <gasps> no way. Wouldn't that be cool? If... Oh, that would be really neat. Yes. That would be good. And she's got a great brand she going on. might be looking on. to put some of his stuff in her boutique. So that could be a great, great, oh, what, um, what an amazing opportunity. And he's a neat guy, He's a very too. cool guy. And thanks for doing it naturally. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. I've put a link to Adam's website on our website, which is daytimeonline.tv. Just look under web links and you can find it there. Yeah, you can create your own perfumes, too. That's right. All right, go.